In this video, we're going to talk about the Viscerator, the Huntress who craves carnage. Oh yeah, this is a comic book review of The Scorched, issue number 26, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Now previously on The Scorch, the villainous sister of the Violator, the Viscerator, has returned and is seeking violence against the Scorched. But before we get to that, we get a backstory of Al Simmons, Jessica Priest, and Frank Bishop from the previous issue. They were doing a routine in the jungles of Southern Columbia. Jason Wynn sent three of his best on a routine mission. So Jason Wynn had his own agenda, which come on, if you know Jason Wynn, you know bro always has an agenda. Regardless of the official record of their mission, it was never about stopping the empires of drugs and guns in Colombia. It was about the kickback Jason Wynn got to look the other way and suddenly that kickback wasn't kicking back to him. So when was done looking the other way and he sent three of his best operators to go in and handle some business. Al Simmons job was to provide a distraction and Al never failed in assignment. Clearing the perimeter was Jessica Priest's task. She was nearly as deadly as Al Simmons. Together, the three of them were a deadly and efficient team. Though neither of them enjoyed the actual act of murder the same way that Frank Bishop did. So we're getting an idea of just how sinister Frank Bishop is. And truth is, he enjoyed it a little too much. The warlord's history, says Frank Bishop. And Jessica Capri's like, yo man, what the hell have you done? The villagers were innocent. Well, seemed like the easiest option, so he just wiped them all out. And Jessica Priest is like, no, nah, bro, those weren't our orders. Don't go soft on me, Red. I got the job done. That's what's important. That wasn't the first time his bloodlust got the better of him, and it would be his last. So Jessica Priest took him out because she can't stand, bro. So she goes on the intercom and tells Al, Guevara's dead, you know, the drug lord, and so is Bishop. It looks like KIA or something. It also wouldn't be the last time Jessica Priest put down a fellow operative and kept quiet about it. Originally, they used Chapel as the one who murdered Al, but, you know, because of the rights, now they change it to Jessica Priest. And I believe they touched on that in King Spawn issue number five or something like that. So Jessica Priest's bullet sends Frank Bishop straight to hell. But now he's back. And Viscera is like, okay, but now that I know your story, are you some sort of spawn? How are you back? So Bishop's like, there are more circles of hell than the eighth, my dear Viscerator, and many arch demons willing to make a deal. I promise I'll introduce you to my master when the time is right. For now, a different sort of introduction is in order. So in half an hour earlier, outside that same building, she spawned Mark Rosen and Redeemer, well, you know, Jessica Priest, Redeemer, and Medieval spawn in their human form outside of the building about to go in, and they're looking for Daniel Kilgore, Hunt. So yeah, and Redeemer's like, I heard he's been drinking again, and Jessica Priest is like, yeah, well, maybe for a good reason, places like this can do that to you. So they find the location, and Jessica Priest asks Mark if he wants to do the honors. He's like, ugh, I don't mind, but the guy is definitely not a fan of churches. He's talking about medieval spawn. So Daniel Kilgore, not knowing who they are, tells him, welcome, my child, and bless you. You may proceed with your confession. Mark is like, I'm not here for a confession. Then what are you here for, my friend? You. You and your dead brother. And the thing you become when you merge with them. Well, that thing is the haunt, a mystic being created by the tethering of two souls with extraordinary powers. And haunt is like, y'all don't want the smoke. Is that what y'all want? And Jessica Caprice is like, easy boy, easy. We just came here to talk. That's all. Let you know about some things. Tension is definitely rising, but haunt is like, you shouldn't have surprised me like that. It could get you hurt. Look, I apologize, says Jessica Priest. We'll know for the next time. Who said there'll be a next time? And his brother Kurt's like, yo, Daniel, man, just hear them out. These aren't your enemies. Says you, Kurt, says Daniel. I'm getting tired of being used by others. Spawn was bad enough. I don't need these people. And Jessica Priest is like, I know things have been hard on you, Daniel. You know nothing about me, where I come from, or what drives me. So save your pity. What the hell do you need? All right, Jessica Priest has to come clean like, all right, bro, we need your help. You spent time with us before, Daniel. We were wondering if you might want to make it more permanent. Is this a freaking joke? I'm not from heaven or hell. I've got nothing in common with any of you. Really, says she spawn? I've got black ops training just like your brother. Mark and medieval spawn are bonded like you and your brother. And you and Redeemer are both men of God, though not in a conventional sense. Fine, says Hunt. I'll listen. What's your pitch? So medieval spawns like an enemy of mine, for my era has resurfaced. I know what she's capable of, so we are trying to shore up our numbers in preparation for an attack. We know she will come soon. We want to go from three to four right now. Will you be our fourth? And Haunt is like, okay, how soon are we talking about? Well, almost on cue, this horde appears and their enemies have been drawn out. 
Medieval's warning of soon actually meant like right freaking now. Summoned by the shadow's blackest corners, these shadow beasts are relentless and they go in and they attack and it all goes down. I mean, they definitely get down with the get down with the violence over here. And for each one they put down, two more take their place. Hail Hydra in Scorch fashion. So while the instigators of this attack calmly observe the carnage, Viscerator is pissed like, why conjure these shadow beasts, Bishop? Why aren't we killing them? Why does the cat play with the mouse before it's crushing it? Revenge needs time to really satisfy. I definitely get like the Pennywise vibes from it, where he has to instill his fear in his victim. That way it can season the meat and the kill tastes that much better. And the viscera is like, okay, I misjudged you, Bishop. Very few of us understand the joy killing brings. But for these seasoned heroes, as Jessica Caprice goes to work and she gives them that work, they too have a bloodlust of their own, allowing one of them to spot something moving in the shadows. And Jessica Caprice is like, no freaking way. Something that absolutely should not be. Bishop, she killed him before and without any hesitation or question, she's gonna kill him again. Time to go, says Bishop. The mouse has begun its chase. No freaking way, says the viscerator. I'm not running, not from her. We're not leaving because of her. He's coming, says Frank Bishop. And who the heck is he? He is the one we can't defeat. Not right now. Take us away. This can wait for another day. So they get taken away, all right? She spawns answers we'll have to wait for another time. And she gets pissed about that. Meanwhile, Medieval Spawn has to fight off his own attack. So with a single powerful necroplasmic gesture, Spawn is like enough and eradicates the wolves and the hordes, leaving Medieval Spawn Redeemer and she spawn alive. This abruptly ends the battle that should have never begun in the first place. Now, while we take time to admire this artwork real quick, I just like to take the time to say, if you like the content we're doing so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, yeah, I started a podcast with me and four of my friends called Caffeinated Chats. I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to check out that channel and check out the conversations we had over coffee. Because to me, coffee is a social lubricant next to alcohol. But with all that being said, let's get back into the content. All of you, you need to come with me now, says Spawn. What's this about, says she Spawn. I put you together, trained you for war. Well, that war has come. And that is the end of the Scorched. Issue number 26, the Viscerator, the Huntress who craves carnage. Even though she didn't get much of it in this issue, she's going to get some of it later. But this will pick up exactly where we left off in Spawn issue number 350, which we will cover on this channel. And I will put the card and the link in description. That way you can pick up exactly where we left off. What do you guys think of the comic book? Comment below. Let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Just like the name of the podcast, this review is sponsored by coffee. So if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.